And here we go. It's a lunch break video. And today's top. Hi, I'm Ron. Welcome to my video. Today's topic is cleaning off my lens. Oh, that's awful. There are better hope. It's what do you do if you're possessed? What's the process? How do you get help? What's what do you do? First off, you're going to be okay. And I'm not a trained psychologist. I'm not trained anything. I'm just a dude in a truck. I just have some experience, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, got some help myself from Jesus. There's a uh, Father Vincent Lampert. He is a real exorcist and he's out of Brookville, Indiana. And you can contact him. I'm going to try to put a link below with his information where you can email him, maybe even call him. And then there's uh, Pastor Lester Summerall, who's got a lot of information videos on deliverance those are the two that i know the process for lester Semerol. i've gone through all his videos and he's a great guy father vincent lampard also has i think a five-part series on possession that describes how people get into it and how to get out of it uh, i like the catholic folk oh by the way you don't have to be catholic to go to the father vincent lampard um there is a process and a procedure well they'll they will determine if you're possessed and in a very cool way, they might send you to a Christian counselor where you might have some sort of spiritual activity going on around you that's profound, but it doesn't mean you're possessed, you are oppressed. The difference between, it's, it would be like the difference between injecting you with something in a hypodermic needle or something else is, you know, you black out and something else is taking control of you. That's possession, as best I understand. Oppression is when you are being controlled and driven by something. Both are awful, and both can be healed. Uh, but there are different stages and ways to deal with things. So they uh, they can help you. Now, uh, especially Father Vincent Lampert, you know, they're Catholics, man. They got this thing. They've been doing this for a while, and they have it down to a science. I'm not saying they're perfect, but they ain't bad. And um, so this is what I've learned. This is what's going to happen is whatever you know to be sin, you stop it and you repent of it. You confess it one to another. I'm not saying you have to blab it, but you, you talk it out with someone. Uh, you do the next right thing, obviously giving your heart to Jesus. Uh, forgiving people is a big thing. And um, then there's baptism. It's uh, Acts 2.38, confession, communion, going to mass and or uh, service somewhere, becoming part of a body. Uh, these are just some of the outside stuff that I've learned that are very effective. And, you know, that's part of the process. That's And, you know, it didn't happen overnight, the possession, usually. Um, and sometimes it takes a little while to get out of it. I myself have had a spirit of depression. Whoa, what a bunch of fun that was. Because I was bitter. I was bitter at a buddy. Don't be bitter at a buddy, because it is. It's not not better to be bitter at a buddy. It's bad. And but once I forgave him, realized what I was doing wrong, uh, I, it left because it's in the Gospels where uh, there was a man who had you know, like a bazillion dollar debt and he wouldn't forgive uh, a guy who he, bazillion dollar debt he was forgiven and then he found a guy who owed him like 500 bucks and he threw him in jail because he wouldn't forgive him and then once the king who forgave this one dude of the bazillion dollars heard about it he threw him into the prison until uh you know f into to, into prison into the hands of the tormentors because he had not forgiven and he will not be forgiven uh, his debt until he forgives his friend and so basically you put you know you get a bad attitude you get a bad attitude back you get a good attitude you get a good attitude back this is not the totality of exorcism or the process I'm just giving you what I've learned so far so there's hope and you know find different ministries you know judge them like you would a mechanic like some some mechanics are shade tree mechanics and they ain't no good Others are great. You know, take your time, figure it out. But there's hope. Never give up. Never surrender. You will win. How's that? So, give your heart to Jesus today. Angels standing by. A bunch of love waiting to dump into your mind, heart, and emotions. You can do it. You will win. 
you have no choice because God is on your side. Actually, you do have a choice, but give it to God. You'll be all right.